Sometimes you just feel like I feel a little bit extra. I want my blush to be the center of attention. Today's video, we're getting into everything. We're talking about blush. This was inspired by my latest video. If you haven't seen that, I will link that for you. But I was talking about in the video, I was like, you know, prior to blush was considered, you know, like don't wear blush. Blush was considered like dated, right? Don't wear blush. It's gonna make you look like an old lady. It's given 80s. Don't wear blush. But blush in the more recent years has had a significant rebrand and it's a popular thing to wear in your makeup. It's not your grandmother's blush, right? So I'm I picked out a few of my favorite blushes here. I'm going to swatch some but I'm also going to give you some details on how I like to wear them. I love the Rare Beauty blushes because they are really pigmented. They really give a nice color payoff. This is just one swipe and you see how pigmented that is and they, they just really give a beautiful color payoff. You know a little bit goes a long way and they look really nicely they blend really easily they just really get the job the job done and i really like them especially like i said their blendability like look how beautifully that blends into the skin and it's like it's not a lot of fuss which that's something that i look for um, in a product in general, I like to see if it's easy to work with. I don't want something that's going to be challenging and I have to do a lot of manipulation just to get it, just to get the product to do what it's claiming to do or what it's supposed to do. Like the e.l.f. blushes, these are really nice and they are pigmented, but you can wear a little bit. Like you can do multiple dabs and once you start blending them out, they're going to really blend out nice and sheer. So they're a little bit more forgiving than, you know, a cream blush, right? Or a more pigmented blush. And we love, for the same reason, their blendability. Like they blend out really nicely and they really give such an impact to the look and how I like to apply those is prior to putting on my concealer I will apply the blush and then go on with my concealer so if I want to go a little ham and put on a little bit more that's how I like to do that so I like the Fenty Beauty her cream blushes I have this in the shade it's um daiquiri dip and it's a really pretty like red color it's it's kind of you know smushed up but it's it's a really pretty cream blush and this is just gorgeous it's just gorgeous and it blends out really nicely as you can see and it just gives you that nice flush of color I'm a blush girly right but I don't want it to look like I'm bruised I don't want it to look like oh was she in a fight or you know what was going on here so Loving. I'm just naming my favorites and then I'm going to give you some tips on how to apply. Also been loving the Danessa Myricks uh, Lip and Cheek Palette because again their blendability. This is a cream product so a cream versus a liquid. A liquid is going to be a little bit easier to manipulate and to work with. If you are a beginner I would suggest going with those and I would suggest going with like the e.l.f. brand because of the way it blends out. Um, so easily and it's more forgiving if you put a little bit more on you're not gonna be like ah force like what am i gonna do um how am i gonna work this so i feel like in between the elf and the rare beauty falls the juvia's place blushes now these are pigmented and they blend out really nicely but you you don't have to tussle with them but you do have to work with them a little bit so see, like if you are a beginner, you might be like, oh, now what do I do? Be mindful of the amount that you're applying and like a little dab will do you just fine. Like you don't need a, a lot. So I feel like there, in which that's a good midway point between the Juvia's Place, I mean between the Rare Beauty and the Elf blushes. And then I'm, I'm a powder blush girly too because I, I'll wear my cream cream or liquid blush but then I like to set it with powder and some of my favorites include the house labs one 
So this is really pretty and this pairs really nicely with that Fenty um, blush I showed you in Daiquiri Dip as well as with the Rare Beauty. They're kind of in the same like color story. And then of course, my Juvia's Place, uh, the powder blushes. I love Juvia's Place because it gives you two options and I like to pair them together or sometimes I just wear like one color alone, but it's nice to have the option. I'm gonna give you some tips on how to apply some things you should be mindful of. So I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place and the Elf one. I did tell you like the Elf one is more sheer. So, you know, that's a lot, right? When I'm working with liquids, I like putting on my blush prior to putting on my concealer because I can go up as high, I can use more, and if it's too much, I can cover it with my concealer and it's gonna pair really nicely. So see how the e.l.f. blush, it kind of, it blends in really nicely and it, all, it not blends into nothing because you can still see it, but it's more forgiving. And I like to take it a little bit under my eye as well, but you can clearly see like, my skin tone is not pink, right? So I like using the e.l.f. for that. Juvia's Place one on the other side. I'm gonna use this brush and as to not mix them. And of course, they're two different pinks, but it blends out really nicely as well. And I didn't put on a lot of product, but I'm really having a good color payoff. And that's what I like about using uh, liquid blushes. That's what I like about using liquid blushes prior to putting on my concealer. So now when I put this on, it doesn't even look like I have blush on this side, right? That's that. So I'm gonna let my concealer marinate, and while it's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my eyes, and then I'll be back. Okay, now my concealer is dried down, so I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out. And you see how it just blends out so nicely on top of the blush, and I still get that really nice effect of concealer blush and it's gonna give it a really nice blend once I put the setting powder on it. I've been loving doing that with my liquid blushes and the same thing for creams. Now, I feel like when you use powder blush, you have a little bit more leeway with that. Um, if you put on too much, you can just put on your powder and dust it away. But if you've already had your powders on and you go to put on your liquid blush on top, it is a little bit more challenging just to blend it out. I'm gonna use the same powder blush to set over top of my cream blush, but I am gonna use two different brushes. So the brush that I use to blend this out with, um, I'm gonna use the lighter pink on this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it. And this is before I set with my under eye powder. So if you, again, if you go a little ham, your, your powders are going to adjust and fix that. But like I said, I've always been a blush girly. Like, I like the way blush looks. And there was a time where I was like, oh, I don't know if I, I'm gonna wear blush, is it gonna look nice? And but when I started, it really, I just fell absolutely in love with it. So because this is already pigmented enough, and this is another pigment color, I don't really need that much to set it. So on this side, I kept it a little higher up. On this side, this is giving me more of rosy cheeks, more rouge. So that's another thing that I wanna talk about is just the difference in your application and how that's going to affect your overall look. So if I wanted something more subtle, I'm going here. I'm going on this side of my face. But if I wanted like, I want you to know, I want you to see the blush, I'm gonna stick with more or less this side, but then when I put my powder on, it's gonna calm it down a bit, it's gonna bring it all together so it's not, 
It's not giving grandma's blush. It's not giving 80s. It's not giving rouge, right? So I'm gonna go in with my um, my under eye powder in my hand. So I know you're thinking like it's still a lot of blush, but you can take your foundation brush and just dab it on top and that is going to diffuse that color and calm it down and then we're, we still have to do our finish. So for finishing powder I like to use the Charlotte Tilbury and this is going to make the difference in just blending everything together so you don't get that like super super bright under eye unless that's the look you're going for but that super super bright under eye just puts the finishing touches i really like i said i'm a blush girly but i feel like you see the difference you see the difference between the two like this side is more it's more blushed it's more you know it's more i'm there it's more of a statement it makes more of an impact right but this side is like i have a little bit blush but I want it to be subtle. Like, I want you to know it's there, but I don't want it to be so in your face. So I love both styles, and I think they have a reason for both styles. I think they have occasions, you know, and sometimes you just feel like, I feel a little bit extra. I want my blush to be the center of attention. And then sometimes you're just like, I wanna be laid back. So I really just like them both. But yeah, comment down below which one is your favorite. I hope you learned something from this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Also, if you are new here and you haven't done so already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We are on the road to 300. Thank you so much. If you've recently subscribed or if you've been here for a while, I appreciate the support. Also, make sure you turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when my videos go up, which I typically upload on Tuesdays and Fridays. And yeah, so go ahead and do that for me. Also comment down below, let me know what some of your favorite blushes are, any tips that you found helpful or any questions that you may have. I would love to just chat with you. So go ahead and comment, meet me in the comments below. Thank you as always for tuning in and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.